Welcome back to the channel. Tommy Kentner here. Today we are checking out a 2019 Veloster Inn. A uh, big shout out to Wyatt Johnson for letting us borrow the car for a few hours. Uh, I really think this is a really nice hot hatch and for the dying hatches that we're not seeing anymore, I think they're going to make a comeback after this car. So let's jump into it. I really like the grill. It really looks good. And then the red accents really set it off. It has 18 inch wheels and tires with high end Michelin. When you come around here to the back, it's sporting the end badge to let you know that it is the end package. And once again, it has the accents and it has an active a variable exhaust, which is pretty cool from the factory. Once again, big shout out to Wyatt Johnson for letting us check out these cars today. I really like how they did this right here with the triangle third, third brake light and the carbon fiber accents. Uh, another quirky feature about it, it only has three doors. So on this, this side, no door. If you walk around here with me, this is your door handle up in the corner for the back door. All right, it doesn't have, it's kind of different because it only has two, two doors on one side and then one door on the other side. So like just a quirky little feature, like something simple, but it probably saves weight without adding all the window glass and the motors and the mechanisms. I think the interior is really nice. Uh, I really like the blue stitching on everything on the steering wheel, how it's really well accented. Uh, these seat belts look really good and it's not overdone and the seats really do set you well. All the plastic feels really nice and then uh, well, let's take it down the road and see what we think about it. I like the little push start button, and so we're gonna go ahead and start it. Has a nice little factory exhaust sound. All right, I'm gonna buckle up for safety. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it in in mode. So this is your modes. You got normal, sport, eco, and in mode. So in mode has like auto rev features and like it blips th the throttle on the downshifts. So we're gonna take her for a spin and then see what we think about it. The steering wheel has a really nice feel. Uh, when you're in in mode, the active exhaust opens up and it sounds really good for a factory exhaust. And then, like I said, it blips them on the downshift. All right, guys, this is the blip on the downshift. And that's all auto. That's a pretty cool feature for your standard car. All right, guys, the, the car feels really good on the road. Um, the steering is really crisp in response. It doesn't feel loose or janky. Um, it's a really well-built car. I mean, I really like how the gauges are laid out. Um, and the sports mode is easy to find, easy to put it into. Everything looks really nice. Let's see how it handles. pops and bangs. The car sounds really good for a stock exhaust. Oh, that's nice. The car has 250 horsepower and 260 foot-pounds of torque, and it's through a four-cylinder, two-liter, twin-scroll turbo. Uh, and it really feels good. It's uh, The car is really solid. I mean, it's a really well put together car. I mean, it handles good for front wheel drive and it really holds the road. And it, I think it's the right size car. Cars today are just getting too big. And this one like takes you back to like the older style cars when there's a lot smaller. So, and like I said, I think it's the perfect size. Um, on that note, I really think the the features that they added on on this with the auto blips and stuff like that that's really cool 
and that exhaust for a factory exhaust sounds really good. It, it's not bad at all. Really like the car. I mean, it, it's <laughs> it's really well put together. It's not overly done, and really look look forward to checking out the N Plus, which is above this model. Video will be coming later. So if you like this video, go ahead and get ready to check out the it's the top model, Veloster. So that'll be in the next one. And uh, if you like what you see in this video, please drop a like and maybe a comment if you want to know anything that I didn't cover. And don't forget to subscribe.